Hello everyone. And welcome to the instructional series. In this introductory video, we will introduce you to file handling on the 3D Experience platform. Initially, we will see how to import different file formats onto the platform. And then, we will go for exporting of the files. So yes, let's get started. When you open up the 3D Experience platform, you will get to see Add menu onto the top bar. Just click on it and select import. Then the import dialog box has been popped up. Here if I select the format tab, you will be encountered with a different format such as INP format, which lets you import Abacus material file. And if I scroll it down, you will get to see neutral formats such as IGS, step file, and different SolidWorks files like ASM, PRT and so on. And for this tutorial, we are going to use 3D XML file format. To do this, select 3D XML with authoring format. So it is the format which is developed by Dassault System. And it generally contains CAD geometry, pre-processing data like FEM setup, mesh, section properties, connections and post-processing data like results. Next click on the browser icon and select bridge underscore model dot 3D XML file. Click OK to import the required file onto the platform. Then from the left corner of the screen, let's go to the specification tree. And right click on the imported file. And click open. So at the left side of the screen, you will see that the 3D XML file is imported with FEM setup, mesh, section properties, and results. Therefore this will complete our first section of this tutorial. Now let us move towards our second section to export the files onto the platform. So onto the 3D Experience platform, we can export neutral files such as STEP and IGES. Adding to this, we can export 3D XML files in INP files format. As we already have imported file with mesh properties, connections, section properties and results, so we are going to look at two formats. First one is Abacus input file format without results, and the second one is the 3D XML file format with the results. So first let's start with Abacus input file format. To do this, go to the share menu onto the top bar, and click on this arrow which is next to the export tab. Select export simulation. This will make to pop up the export window. Next click on this browsing icon and select the desired location. Type name of the file as abacus underscore results. And then save the required file. Now, we are going to assign the unit system. And here we are selecting it as SI unit. To keep the thing standard. Then go to the analysis case section. Here we can export two analysis files that are thermal and structural. If we want to export any one file between these. That we can do it manually. For example. Uncheck the structural analysis case and click export. Then close this window. And if I go to the desired location, we will get to see this thermal analysis file. OK, so let's go back to the platform. Next, we will see how to export 3D XML file. To do this, I will go to the share menu and click on export. And here into this export window, select 3D XML with authoring format. And next, click on browsing icon, and select the required folder, so that we can set the location of the file. And next step, you can rename the file as, bridge underscore model. Then click OK. And here the window shows the complete status. So congratulations. You have successfully exported the 3D XML file. And that will conclude the file handling tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video.